My content is for 13 and upward, don't collect the product. Like I want to mention once again, the disclaimer, 13 and up adult collectors of the product. Uh, so again, like literally like I, th this is so relevant now too because <laughs> of the audience this is based on and everything like YouTube for the love of God, uh, please. Uh, so this is uh, the Shin TA Repro. I want to first give a huge shout out to Dan who gave me a sample for me to use for this video. I also would like to thank uh, Shin Dog, uh, thank, and anyone else who worked on this uh, project. Very, very awesome. For those that don't know what a TA is, Tornado Attack. This was Gen 1. All right, this was just the extra segment I wanted to add. So this was just in the difference of the ridges. So uh, the Repro has obviously a little bit more of a thicker ridge than uh, the Birch Standard one. Can see the difference between the two of these thinner and a little bit uh, thicker you could say deeper whatever and after you have like the back ridge here so uh, so there's obviously the difference there and uh, also the main difference obviously is going to be how KOs are going to be defined a little bit easier now okay so let's give an example here so we have two stadiums right here right I'm gonna get two random bays for whatever the reason is. Okay, so let's see in this stadium for an example. We'll put this on top. Okay, this battles against this, right? And then after this goes, and maybe it hits here and it comes back in. Because if I KO this, it can go out here or it can go out here. I think that uh, it's gonna be a fun experience to see. So let's, uh, let's go see. All right, so for this, we're going to have uh, some of the original Lair stuff, Dark Dead Scyther, um, a Spread Revolve against, what is this, Knuckle Extreme. Just a general launch, because I'm... Oh my god, I hit it into the other... St I hit it... I, you can't see it. I actually, there's a stadium on the floor. I just hit it to the other stadium. Yeah, okay. So long as you're launching it right, yeah, you should be okay. Obviously, this does take practice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting the hang of flowering better. Point is seeing how the tack does in the thing. I would do dash, but I also, I, I, for classic stuff, whatever, for like the original ones, I'm very like, wear of the teeth and stuff, so I'm not crazy on it, but. Yeah, in terms of how this is like, the movements pattern on the thing, the flowering, I'm, I'm liking it. Sick. Try again. And obviously, like I said, there's always going to be varying depending on what you use, how you launch it. And I'm probably not even doing it 100% either. Maybe I can do better with uh, the other ones. Also, uh, we have now Nightmare. Okay, so Baron can do Baron things. All right, next up is God Drain Fafnir, 10 cross bearing dash against Sieg Excalibur, 7 bump uh, extreme. So here's what I want to see. I want to see how Drain, and I want to see how bearing dash catches the ridge, which probably this won't do it, but either way. All 
I like how it catches it. I like how it interacts with it. I, I, I like that a lot. Just same old little weak launch. Okay, there you go. Now, now it's accomplishing what we're trying to see. Just how annoying can bearing be? Probably just won't, we, we won't even be able to really see until we get, like, get to like the big leagues against the Belkish. I see self kale on the thing. Alrighty, next up is going to be Chosey stuff. So this will be a perfect zero cross extend plus versus Hades zero expand extreme dash. Okay. Alright, now it catches the ridge on the thing. Okay. Cool burst. Okay. I want it obviously dying right away. Okay, now we're on to GT stuff. So Master against Judgment. Master has more wheel. Extend plus against Judgment Blitz Extreme. the walls and everything there is a cool strategy to this okay for realsies all right we're at sparking i mean for this one the chassis doesn't really matter because we're just trying to kill the thing so cool Uh, this world drift thing. Okay, equalize, cool. It's pretty much, I think, the same, more or less the same you'd seen standard. Oh, except for that. Alrighty, so we have Guilty versus Vanish, Illegal Bearing Dash, Fortress, uh, Quick Dash. Against Guilty, Fortress, 2. Okay. Yeah, that's way too light, I'm thinking of the other way around. Guilty's Guilty, but if you stack two of them, then... Don't only have to worry. That one will be vanished because of launch. Try it again. Woo! So obviously because of the ridge bearing, well most likely what I was trying to say, here's was the best example. Now we have a uh, wind tonight. Try, try again. See with bearing. So obviously if I did that. Those are very lucky catches by BDR. But uh, it does work because it's the whole thing was just trying to see if it grips or if it doesn't. Um, so now, save your belly L3, quick dash, quick test, and we're done. And uh, yeah. We're going to see how wind. Uh, Okay, well, wow, so I just, I just had an example of where it can hit the wall and then it gets KO'd out. 
Alrighty, just uh, for a little damage report on anything, uh, not really much at all, just tiny little bents. It's not really like, it, it. it's good quality, honestly, like, considering how many hits it took from Guilty, uh, and that was so far the worst that I've been able to see. Uh, I would say uh, it seems uh, durable. I'd also recommend probably uh, stacking another one. So if you have two of them, just to stack one on top, or if we eventually get inserts. Otherwise, you know, either way, I, I still like it quite a bit. Uh, very neat uh, for KOs and stuff. I will probably be launching this around the same time as the main video. So this will be for the competitive stuff, and the main video will probably just have casual stuff. Either way, I recommend it. Um, there's no link right now. When eventually there is a link for orders, I will update the description for that. Uh, otherwise, just uh, keep your eyes out, I guess. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Bye!